In this video, I wanted to show you a few different options that you have today where you can take images and then ultimately make these little video outputs from these AI generated tools that are out there. In terms of image generation, so Flux One just came out and it's a really great open source model. Now, in terms of being able to access it, if you do have a Twitter account, you will be able to access it on Grok. And then alternatively, if you don't, you will be able to generate some images on Hugging Face. Now, the other thing that's really great with Hugging Face is if you go to huggingface.co slash models, and then you go to text to image, there's a ton of different models that you can try out here. So now to be able to access these, you can make a free account on Hugging Face. You can just go ahead and log in and then you can put in your sentence there and you'll be able to generate some images. Now, a lot of these models don't necessarily have the inference API hosted, but there's enough within here where you have a number of different options that you can try out to get these cool text to image outputs that you can use. So another place you can get images is from ChatGPT. They just announced even on the free tier, you can get up to two images a day. And then in terms of the video output, Kling AI gives you a number of credits every day that you can try to make these video outputs. Here are just a few different examples. And then there's also Luma Labs, which will give you four generations a day. And then finally, there is Runway ML. Now this is a paid option where you'll be able to buy credits and then generate videos from either text to videos or from images to videos as well. So I'm just going to demonstrate this here. I'm going to show you an example with Grok. The interesting thing with Grok, it is using Flux under the hood, and you're able to get it to generate what some people might consider to be copyrighted material or otherwise salacious or controversial things. But let's keep this pretty PG. So let's just say a Pikachu that's walking through the streets of NYC at night. It just takes a couple of seconds to generate, depending on the platform that you're using for the image generation, that will obviously vary. All I wanna do here is I wanna try this simple image across these three different video generation models. First, I'm gonna try Kling Soi. Next, I'm gonna try that same image with the same prompt to Luma Labs. And then finally, I'm gonna upload that same image to Runway ML. So now in terms of speed, Runway ML, the Gen 3 Alpha Turbo, is by far the fastest option across all three of these. So here's our first generation of Pikachu, and interestingly on Runway, the prompt that I took of begin walking, it's walking backwards. But in terms of the generation itself, it is obviously very impressive, and I have to say that this is a really great output, at least in my opinion. Next up is Luma Lab. So it's an interesting sort of abstract video here. Obviously the Pikachu here isn't actually walking, but you can see in the background, it is a cool effect in terms of what's happening behind the scenes. But if I just compare that quickly back to the runway example, in my opinion, and I'd imagine you'd likely agree is the more impressive of the two. All right, now to circle back to Kling AI, now this example is hung up, so I'm not gonna be able to unfortunately show it in this video, but I have been able to successfully generate other images with Kling AI before. So if you have the same issue, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I just wanted to show you a few different options on how you could generate text image and then also image to video and give you both some free as well as some paid options on how you can get started with all of these. So. If you found this video useful, please comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.